Okay, for all you barbecue aficionados and connoisseurs out there on the web, there it is. The newly minted LT1 Sniper model barbecue trailer from Pitmaker. There's a brand new Sniper right there. We're gonna take a closer look inside that in just a minute and light her up for you. We got all the fuel we need. Plenty of storage and prep surface right here. On the passenger side, we have two 46 inch by 30 inch solid stainless steel tables with dry storage underneath. A 30 inch adjustable charcoal grill grill meister for all your grilling needs. A stainless steel housed 100,000 BTU multi-jet burner for all your boiling, frying, and simmering needs. And we even have the kitchen sink. Solid stainless steel sink with a pull-out hose for getting into those big pots and pans. And in just a minute, we're gonna fire it up for you. Okay, another another quick look, closer look at the solid stainless steel housing multi-jet burner. Look at that housing. Fully protecting your burner from the elements. Solid stainless steel, great look at this. Well, this solid, you know this thing undergoes over a thousand degrees of heat. Why make it out of carbon steel? We wanted to make it out of solid stainless steel to last through the elements, the high heat, the 100,000 BTUs of fire coming out of that torch. Stress test, you name it. This thing can handle 50 gallon pots, crawfish, it can get it done. And we'll fire that thing up for you in just a minute, too. Here we are cranking this thing up for you. Look, here we go. So you have Look the flexibility to do it low and slow, or what we call the full blast and fast. <laughs> That's about to melt the camera. <laughs> Did you mention the, the brass? The tips are made out of brass, so they're going to last you a long time. They stand out really good for corrosion, and uh, the gray is made out of stainless. The, the brass tips are also replaceable. Uh, we can actually send you the tips if you happen to drop a pot on one or something. So there you go, you have this awesome high quality brass valve that really controls your BTU outfits. Low and slow. We're cranking up to do those big pots. And this is a flame that is not gonna blow out in a high wind. Plenty of ventilation underneath. You can see there uh, all the way through the, to the whole body of the burner. And Plenty of BT outputs for By the way, the, small pot. the gray is made out of stainless steel, 304, uh, 3 quarters by 3 quarters by 1 inch thick. They have a uh, resistance you can put up to like 300 pounds before you see that warping. And, um, you know, that's an air bloom, don't you say it? That's right. Pass this burner and pit onto your kids' grandkids. There you go. The multi jet high pressure burner for Pitmaker. Get one on your trailer. Perfect compliment to one of our custom trailers. When you don't need it as a burner, it's a perfect table. Yep, we call this the trophy pedestal. <laughs> for, uh, it's, it's held quite a few trophies. It's a perfect spot for it on your trailer as well, if you happen to take this thing out in competition and do well with it. <laughs> Pay attention to how far the stainless steel tables on our trailer stick out. They're completely ergonomic. They function to put your toes underneath like a toe kick on a kitchen counter. And so you don't have to keep your feet, you know, way back away from the table. And the aforementioned other benefits for uh, really protecting your back so you're not having to lean over the table to reach your meat, to reach your cutting board, whatever. You can just walk right up to it, work comfortably, elbow height, just like a kitchen counter. We prevent problems here at Pitmaker. Uh, we try to protect all the corners, and we don't like to see any domestic violence or violence between friends. When your buddy comes over here and lifts his foot up to put, to put it on your trailer and scratches your paint, you have aluminum diamond plate projecting every surface area, horizontal surface area on your trailer and uh, protecting it from those boots of whoever walks up to your trailer and you want to shoot because they just scratched your paint. Another high point of quality from Pitmaker. See it? Just, the, just this portion. I don't, don't show me. Okay. It's on. 
Barbecue Octagon Fighter. We get this name from the shape of the Pitmaker Sniper. Another reason, we use a completely fabricated plate rather than an oil field pipe, is we get this really unique space and a total efficient use of the cubic foot of the cooking chamber of your smoker. Rather than having a pit, a pipe that bisects here for a 24 inch radius, you get a vertical clearance of 12 inches. If we came up and you get a vertical clearance of 18 inches, you really get a serious use of the cooking chamber and then able to maximize your cooking grade space in your offset firebox smoker. This pit cooks a lot as much as many other pipe pits much larger than its size with over 3,000 square inches of cooking grade space here in the, uh, the pit, pit maker sniper. So we're here about to season our new barbecue sniper and we're gonna spray it with some with some high, high heat spray pan, this original spray pan. 100% canola oil, pretty much you can use just about any high temp cooking oil. We've already done the cooking chamber, just hit it with the high heat cooking chamber. And I want to show you one thing while we got this thing, why we got this sniper open. One of the reasons why Pitmaker chose to go with an all fabricated cooking chamber body rather than prefabricated oil filled pipe or other type of pipe is you can see right there the quality of the steel. It's PO virgin treated steel. So it's shiny, it is, it is open to receiving the oil we're spraying on it right now. The heat causes the oil to bond with the steel on a molecular level, coating it, protecting it, just like you would an iron skillet. If you open your pipe pit and you see a coating of orange, that's a layer of corrosion that really should be removed before you season it. It's something that really is not going to add to the longevity of your pit and may not taste well. A lot of your old uh, stories of seasoning came from pipe cutoffs and drops that had a layer of coke or other residue in it from being oil filled pipe and they actually burned it out with high heat, 500 degrees and a couple of hours to get the layer of carbon and soot and grease all melded together and really try to protect the cooker and the people eating food off the pit from anything that may be inside the, the pipe and we're telling you here at Pit Maker it's not necessary with our pits we're just la layering that, that coating of oil onto the virgin steel and giving it an extra layer of protection. Taking a closer look at the cooking grates of our pit maker sniper, you can see that the tubing is forged. As you know, it's not something that we actually create. We, pur we purchase it and it's forged at the foundry. And it comes with a layer of primer that you can see we grind it off for the customer. This is extra labor intensive work for us, but we know our customers appreciate it. You don't want this layer of coke or primer breaking off into your food or having any possibility of doing that at all. The edges are welded seamless. You can see the number nine expanded metal and the corners and, and everything welded line up seamless so that you don't have all the spots for the bacteria, etc., to collect in or pull in. Really wanted to give a commercial quality and a very healthy quality to the type of cooking that the pit produces. As you can see also our new Vortex smoke sack system coming down into the cooking chamber from this angle. It's actually a new innovation on the Pitmaker Sniper. It lowers the exit point for the smoke of the cooking chamber allowing for extra density and extra heat distribution to build at the end of the cooking chamber opposite the firebox. So it helps you get some even heating and some even smoke density throughout your smoker with, uh, without using a tuna plate system. We still have an optional tuna plate system for those of you that really like the even cooking for doing lots of the same thing, most our customers, most pitmasters, a lot of pitmasters pr prefer the heat distribution of an offset firebox pit because you can use it for a variety of effects cooking different kinds of meats. And there you have it. Now we're about to fire it up. So well, now we got the Kings for competition charcoal. The reason why we like Kings for competition, competition charcoal is because they give you the exact same size over and over. So you have the control or the form and uh, you can do different patterns whenever you put the charcoal and you fire it right. On this case, we have the sniper. We're just gonna pour in there. It's approximately like three and a half pounds because we're gonna burn for two hours at 250 degrees.
hyper because the oxygen is coming from the front and then we force the heat to the cooking chamber. We always like to do, do this pattern like this. A little bit further from the air damper, right? That's correct. Put in the back of the fire grate is what we recommend. So next, we always look, you know, to flavorize the, uh, the cook. In this case, we got the Western Hickory and Pecan. So I'm gonna go and dig in there for a couple of pieces of the Hickory. And there it is. We'll throw some pieces like that. Because we're gonna build a heavy smoke. Because we wanna cure the metal. So we choose to use the charcoal as a heat base for the consistency, but we, we used regular fist-sized chunks of wood or chunks of wood for the regular smoke flavoring. We're back to our firebox. We have it loaded with fuel. As you can see, we use a solid stainless steel damper with a solid stainless steel cool-to-touch handle on your firebox and solid stainless steel angles to hold your damper and have it to slide and operate. Why solid stainless? Again, high heat, wear and tear, and moving, moving parts, we want to give it to you the highest quality to withstand the corrosion and give a long, long life to the pit. You can see we have our base of fuel built in there. Again, about three, three and a half pounds of charcoal, and then the wood chunks for the, for the smoke. We're choosing to use the charcoal as a, as a heat base and a longer consistent burn, and then with the, the smoke, it can be added easily and controlled by using the smaller chunks of wood. They don't burn quite as long, but we're willing to forego that in order to have more control over when to add smoke and heat. About to fire it up. <clears throat> you can use a charcoal chimney. At Pitmaker, we like to use these, some people call them cactus burners or weed burners or roofing torches. You can get them all over. Home Depot has them, Harbor Freight has them, 30 to 50 to $60. We'll probably start carrying them soon ourselves in our store. And we are preheating the cooking chamber of the sniper. This is a step that you don't necessarily have to do. This is something we choose to do. When you overcome the thermal inertia of lighting and heating up all the steel, you can get up the cooking, cooking temperature really fast. This step, if you're out in the field, also helps you kill the germs, any type of bacteria you might have that have sit up in your pit from sitting out a couple days with the grease, and we're working on this grease. This kills it immediately rather than having to smoke cure, low temperature kill it over time lighting your pit. So it actually performs two functions. Here the heat is, is adding to the oil that has been sprayed onto the steel and is immediately bonding it to the steel. From here we'll shut the chamber door and then light the fuel and you'll see how quickly we're actually up to temperature in the sniper. We were at normal outside temperature which here in the summer in Houston was about 95 right now and uh, you'll see how quickly it jumps up to cooking temperature in no time by using this method to light your pit. Sucker then. Stack is open and you can see our thermometer is already reading a good 250 degrees. Some of the heat was kind of coming off, off the firebox and hitting the thermometer so it'll go down a little bit as it evens out temperature. But by the time we light the fire in the firebox, guarantee we'll be at cooking temperature in less than three or four minutes. do it perfectly fine the long traditional way using a charcoal chimney or other lighting methods we're kind of impatient here at Pitmaker we like, to, we like it fast so uh, and convenient 
This is the tool time Tim method. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> benefits of lighting your offset firebox pit or your barbecue vault with this method is you're not having to use the fuel of the firebox to overcome the thermal inertia of the cooking chamber heating up all the steel in here. So what, what that means is your firebox actually has to work a lot less. Once it's heated up it takes very little lit fuel to keep it hot and keep it smoking and cooking. So we're able to preheat the chamber, light the fuel, and have it just have not have the firebox have to overwork itself, over oxygen over oxygenate to get the cooking chamber up to temperature. Basically, for lighting a portion of your fire uh, your fuel in the firebox and opening the damper and setting the damper to to to, to the the level you want it. Instead of having to wait and leave it wide open so your cooking chamber catches up, you can set it immediately and have it at the temperature you want to cook at. 225. You want it a little bit higher? Open up your damper and let it get higher. And that's it. That's lighting, seasoning and lighting your barbecue sniper the right way here at Fitmaker. From this angle, you can see how well the sniper is drafting. The smoke is exiting at a good rate from the solid stainless steel smokestack. We're gonna show you how effective the damper is, the stainless steel damper is, on the firebox when we turn it down in real time. He just shut it, and you can see immediately the smoke, cubic feet per minute, trickles off, and you're pretty much left with what was stuck in the cooking chamber just kind of drafting out. So open it up again, Victor. Look at that, poof. Massive increase in cubic feet per minute. Just showing you the good, the, good, uh, the good way this pit seals. We're gonna take another look at how well the new smokestack, Vortex smokestack system on the new Pitmaker Sniper is performing. You see it's drafting extremely well out of the solid stainless steel smokestack. There's our cooking chamber doors. No leak, 360 all the way around. Seals extremely well. We just took a closer look at some of them inside, and now we're gonna we're at 245 degrees or so. We have the damper set part way open. We're gonna open this up and show you how good the smoke density is. Pay attention to really in the end of the pit too. Oh yeah, one-handed. Open that pit one-handed. That's how easy it is to open the new pit maker sniper. Smoke your target, not yourself. Thanks for watching.